But now let's move on to phase two. Remember, this is all theory, by the way, of what can happen if your blood pressure isn't controlled, all right? It doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you, but it's really good to know basically what happens when you have uncontrolled blood pressure, when it's high and you're not treating it or lowering it to a safer range. So how that damage occurs. And this is basically why we call it the silent killer. You don't feel anything, but it's causing all this internal damage. So we're working through the stages. So your blood pressure remains elevated. Your left ventricle, this is the chamber in your heart that pumps the blood around your body. It can actually begin to thicken. And we call this LBH for short, left ventricular hypertrophy. So it's basically your heart trying to adapt to this higher blood pressure now. But here's the thing. A thickened heart basically becomes stiff and it can't really relax between beats. And this eventually reduces your heart's efficiency at pumping. Now moving on to the kidneys, glomerular capillaries can face chronic strain from this higher blood pressure. So you may actually start leaking protein in your urine. And this is basically one of the earliest signs of kidney damage. And by the way, I've seen this in so many patients when we do a urine dip test basically, and we see the protein because they have uncontrolled blood pressure it can be caused by other things as well by the way and in terms of symptoms at this stage there really aren't many symptoms to, to tell you about and as a result most patients don't connect anything to their high blood pressure